Have you been searching for a brand new home that has two suites in an area where there's no HOA, no CDD for under $330,000? Well then look no further because I got you. What's up YouTube fam? If you're new to my channel, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexis Diaz and I'm Central Florida's real estate advisor and co-founder of the Evolve Estates Group. Here at the Evolve Estates Group, it is our passion to help people evolve in real estate. So we go all over Central Florida and surrounding areas to show you what Florida has to offer. We explore new construction, resale homes, investment opportunities, local restaurants, shops, and so on much more so make sure you like comment subscribe turn on those notifications so you don't miss my weekly videos Today we are back in Ocala, Florida, specifically Marion Oaks, one of my favorite places to tour homes. Today we're gonna check out this four bedroom, three bath, two car garage, 1,871 square foot on a quarter acre lot. Now this home has two suites, which I'm super excited to show you. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video where we're gonna go to Monarch School of Real Estate and I'm gonna show you some different down payment options, closing costs, taxes, and so on much more. Now let's begin your real estate evolution tour. All right, so before we come into the house, I want you to take notice that we have a porch, um, which gives you some access to, if you wanna put some seatings. We do have two pendant lights there as well, as well as the coach lights um, outside of the drive, uh, the garage, right? So that's something to keep in mind. So as you walk in, we have this nine foot door with the different, with the glass window panels, which I really, really love. It just gives you kind of like that luxury feeling to it. Coming into the house, you have an open floor concept, right? So usually they have this area right here as a dining space. So you can have like a rectangular table, a square table, whatever fits your family needs. You can maybe Maybe hang some um, lights there and then we also have this oversized window okay so now coming this way this is technically gonna be your family room. So this is where you can maybe house your um, couch and then have your 100 inch minimum, you guys already know how I feel about that, 100 inch minimum TV on that wall. So you kind of could, you could maneuver this however you, it fits your family needs, right? It's open space so it gives you kind of that flexibility. So come on this way and we are entering your kitchen. Now the kitchen is a little bit on the smaller size however look how many cabinets you have you have a lot of space so let's talk about this island because you guys already know it's coming because I love islands because I'm an island girl I'm from Puerto Rico I'm also from Dominican Republic and I was born and raised in Staten Island New York so when I see islands it reminds me of being back home chopping it up in the kitchen with my kids talking about our day our goals so this island it's quartz countertops it has a double stainless steel sink keep in mind that it's not completely finished it still needs to be clean so you're gonna have debris on the counters on the floors okay so just keep that in mind but we do have this nice black faucet one of my favorite features the pull out faucet and what you could appreciate as well as I can is the pendant lights already hanging down for you so that's one less thing you have to worry about now this house comes with the kitchen appliances so we have the double door refrigerator we have the microwave over the electric stove and 
then we also have the dishwasher and the um the brand is whirlpool okay so on the island you have some cabinets you have some drawers and you have drawers drawers and cabinets galore on this side so the cabinets are actually 42 inch so they're very very nice and spacious they're soft closed and it already comes with the handle okay so as you can see, you have more than enough counter space. You have an abundance of different outlets. So this is definitely a spacious kitchen. Now you guys know that I love, love, love to do this. I love to open up everything. Well, let's not, I'm not that strong. We gotta make sure they secure that. But this is the refrigerator, so it's double door. You have your freezer on one side, your refrigerator on the other side. I love like the different drawers and things like that. All right. So come this way where we are going to have the pantry. So the pantry is actually a nice size. I know some people like the walk-in pantry, but this one does not have a walk-in pantry. However, it has four shelves, more than enough space for your box goods, canned goods, and then maybe even some bulky snacks on the bottom. But just remember is that you do have a lot of cabinets and um, on the top and on the bottom, right? So let me know, is that, uh, pantry big enough for you. I know some people really like big, big, big pantries. So off of the kitchen, I want you to take notice of this space here. So we have this long space and I was just telling my sister, I said, I've seen it where people have maybe like a high top right here and you can have two seats or maybe you can make this like a wet bar area, like a bar or, or even a, a separate coffee station. I've seen that where you have like the rollable shelves, like a shelving station, you put it right here and you can make it your coffee station. We all need a coffee station now so this is kind of like as I mentioned an open space you can do whatever you want when it's your house you do whatever you want so what I want to do is since I'm already on this end let's go to the backyard we have a covered lanai and this is on a quarter of an acre so the lot size is about 84 by 128 all right so let's go check that out all right, so we're stepping into your backyard. I absolutely love the covered lanai. You can enclose this, which should be very inexpensive because it's not a large um, space to enclose. But as I mentioned, you have a ginormous, this is ginormous to me, backyard. You can add a pool, trampoline, playground for the kids. Make this your backyard oasis. Right now, you don't have any um, side neighbors or any rear neighbors, right? But that could always change. And again, this is just um, like an open canvas, right? For whatever your heart desires and fits your family needs. Maybe extend the concrete, um, put some pavers, a domino table, you know, get down in the summertime. I absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys would do back here. Maybe plant some trees from some fruit trees and things like that. Give me some cilantro and culantro and all of that stuff. Um, but I absolutely love this space. So we have a lot to cover because we have four bedrooms and three bathrooms. So let's continue. You. all right so coming back into the house we have a hallway off of the kitchen so in this hallway we're gonna have two bedrooms and then a full bathroom that they share what i could definitely appreciate about this house is that the bedrooms are a nice size so let's check out bedroom number one bedroom number one faces the back of the house you're gonna notice that there's no carpet in this house. There's luxury vinyl planking all throughout, right? And so this is a nice size. It is pre-wired for a ceiling fan. You have the one window in here. And we also have a nice size closet. So we have the double door bifold, double bifold doors and it's very, very wide. So as I mentioned, you can always, if you needed to bunk kids up, there's more than enough space to put a bunk bed in here. You add another shelf. So the one child has one shelf, the other child has the other shelf. They feel like they have their own space, right? So this is bedroom number one. And now let's go check out the bathroom that these two bedrooms are gonna share. 
All right, so in this bathroom, we have a shower tub combination. I love that the tile goes all the way up to the ceiling. We have the quartz countertops with the single sink and the same cabinets. Now, I love that they picked a different mirror. It's not the one that they tape on and then it's annoying to come out. You're gonna rip the paint, so I love that. They also have some towel holders, toilet paper holder, and like a hand towel holder as well, so I could appreciate that. Now, we have bedroom number two, which is just around the corner and let's go check it out all right so bedroom number two like i said look at this is a very very spacious bedroom it is facing on the side of the house we have the lighting which is pre-wired for a ceiling fan already but when i tell you i love this house simply because well i love it for a few reasons one of the reasons being that the rooms are spacious because you know that we've toured homes that it's a four bedroom but it's 1500 square feet and the rooms are small right and it may work for some but it doesn't work for most so let's check out this closet as well we have the same doors and it seems to be around the same size as bedroom number one again this is very 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 spacious i have one client who she actually for every house they've owned she always customizes her daughter's closets which i absolutely love so you can get this customized but this is spacious so what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go on the opposite side of the house where we have the junior suite which i am super excited to show you so let's go so what do you think about this house so far? Could you appreciate the size of the bedrooms? Let me know in the comments. I'd love your feedback. Now, before we go on with this tour, I want to let you know the best way to reach out to me if you want to work with the Evolve Estates group is go on my YouTube. There's a link, my Calendly link, and it's linked to my calendar. And you're going to choose whether you are an investor, a buyer, seller, or a builder wanting to connect with me, okay? Not only do I help my buyers, I help many sellers evolve in real estate, whether they're upsizing, downsizing, or relocating out of the state. So this is the best way to reach out to me is because when you when we are scheduled to speak with each other i want to make sure that i give you my undivided attention and let you know how here at the evolve estates how we can help you evolve in real estate if you call me that's completely fine you'll get my assistant katrina she's absolutely great she'll just put you on my calendar either way okay so i just wanted to make sure that i got that out the way now we are off of the family room and we have this door here which i know a lot of people like to see what's behind the door so behind door number one it's the is the HVAC system okay so that's what we have there now come on in we are going to check out the junior suite which is right off of the family room I absolutely love this space so as I mentioned there's no carpets we have the um, lighting here which is already pre-wired for a ceiling fan you can add that in later this faces the side of the house. We have the one window, but let's check out this closet. This closet has to be one of the best closets I've seen in a, in a, in a secondary suite. It is extremely long, extremely spacious. This could technically be like a little, little bedroom for like a little play area, but you can do so much to this space. It is absolutely amazing. Um, so this would be perfect for maybe like your in-laws, um, your parents, or maybe like an older child that wants their own room, right? But you have incentivized, right? You want your own room, okay. I want A's the entire year or something like that. I don't know, something realistic and something that they, um, you need them to work on right so come on this way we also have a um their own bathroom right so this bathroom is a shower tub combination we have the same tiling going all the way up to the ceiling and we also have the single sink with the quartz countertops the cabinet and then that mirror as well so it looks exactly like bathroom number one that we saw so this is the junior suite which is very nice and spacious i love 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 the closet so now before we check out the master bedroom i want to go to the other side of the house again and check out the laundry room and the two-car garage isn't that closet just ginormous like would your child love it with your in-laws love it would your parents love it let me know what you think about it so 
we are coming off of we, we're coming out of the room right we are in the family room we are in the front of the house i just want to it's a little just choppy so i want to make sure that you understand where we at so to my right is the kitchen and then we just went out of the junior suite now just around the corner off of the um dining space we're gonna have the laundry room now the laundry room um it doesn't come with the washer or dryer but that just allows you to pick and choose what you want and then it does have the rack but when you close if you don't like the rack you could just go ahead and install some cabinets and that's easy peasy and very very inexpensive okay so now in order to get to the garage you have to go through the laundry room and let's go check it out all right, so here is a two car garage. It's a little dark in here, but there is a light. Um, you have your water heater with the expansion tank. Um, it, they, it does look like they painted the floor, which looks very, very nice. So again, you do what you want with the garage, whether you're putting your cars in here, you're using it as an office, or you know, you could put a split AC system and use this as an office if you wanted to, or storage. Let me know what you would do. Me personally, I've never used the garage for my um, my cars. It's always for storage, So, but that's just me. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go see that master bedroom. All right, so we just saw the two car garage. I went through the laundry room. Now we are walking across the house and into your master bedroom. So the master bedroom is definitely a very, very spacious size. You have more than enough space for a king size bed, a dresser, some end tables. We have two windows in here. So a lot of that natural light is coming in. So sky's the limit, decorate this master bedroom however your heart desires now come this way so we have a little hallway where we're gonna have two master closets you heard that well two not four okay so two master closets and um they're both walk-in closets they seem to be the same size so we cannot fight with our significant other they the same exact size however what i would say though is that if your significant other doesn't have as much clothes as you do so just tell them to fold their clothes up put it in the drawer and that's it and you have both you have two walk-in closets like oh okay my dresses are on one side and then my shirts and my my shoes are on another i don't know whatever <laughs> however you want to set that up so come on in so if you continue straight we're gonna have the master sh bathroom right so the master bathroom has two uh sinks um more than enough cabinet space we have two separate mirrors which i absolutely love the lights over the mirrors we have some towel holders and then we have a step in shower with the towel going all the way up to the top which i absolutely love so one thing to keep in mind is that most of the time these builders do not install the glass doors right for the showers so that's one thing that we can try to negotiate and if they don't um it just depends right but normally it does not come with the glass enclosure okay but that's something you could get that for about four hundred dollars in home depot or lowe's so this is the tour let's go back to the kitchen chop it up and then we're gonna go to monarch school of real estate all right, so we are back in the kitchen. You guys know it's my absolute favorite place to be. So what did you think about this house? Do you love it? Is it the right fit for you? Is it something you're not looking for? Let me know in the comments. So let's go over it again. So this is a four bedroom, three bath, two car garage, 1,871 square foot home. Now, as you walk in, you are walking into an open floor concept. You can put the dining table right in front of the house. Off of the dining space, you have the laundry room, and then you also have the two car garage. On the opposite side of the house, you have the master bedroom with the two walk-in closets and then your master bathroom. Now, coming back in, you have the huge open space, whether you're gonna put your family room there or your the high top table in the corner with the beautiful, beautiful kitchen island, quartz countertops, the hanging pendant lights, and all of the cabinets. Now, you also have that junior suite off of the family room where you have that ginormous closet and then you also have the bathroom which has the shower tub combination coming back into the house you're walking let's go back to the backyard you have that covered lanai spacious to put a pool um quarter acre lot 
In the hallway, you also have the two bedrooms, very, very nice size with the full bathroom that they share, which also has that shower tub combination. So that is the tour of the house. We are in Marion Oaks, which is in Ocala. There's no HOA, no CDD. Now this house is priced at $329,900. One thing I will say is that I've seen the same exact floor plan priced around the $315,000, but it's not gonna look as luxury with the sense of like the, the, um, the window door, the window panes in the front door, the pendant lightings and things like that, right? So we can definitely explore that house as well. It's the same exact floor plan, just different finishes, okay? So in Marion Oaks, it's made up of several different neighborhoods. Now we have what I call the Marion Hub, which is a Winn-Dixie, five minutes away from here, which may turn into all these because all these bought out Winn-Dixie if you didn't know that. But there's a barbershop there, Dominican Hair Salon, Pizzeria, um, Old San Juan, oh my gosh, Old San Juan Spanish restaurant, which has a bakery inside as well. Definitely check it out. There's Walgreens Urgent Care. We're only about 10 to 15 minutes away from Highway 200, where we're gonna have all of the stores, such as Dillard's, the Sporting Goods, Epic Movie Theaters, Ulta, um, my favorite, Starbucks. We have the VA clinic there as well. Thank you for everyone who has served our country. We have the major hospitals there and a whole bunch of different other stores and eatery. We're about 20 to 25 minutes away from both springs, which we have, we have an abundance of different springs, but the most popular springs here is Rainbow Springs and we have Silver Springs. So Rainbow Springs, absolutely beautiful. You could do the bottomless, um, like boat tour where you can see the fish swimming um, and then you have like the wild monkeys the manatees the alligators in silver springs both springs you can go um, kayaking canoeing you can go camping we're about 25 minutes away from the equestrian center if you didn't know ocala is known as the horse capital of the world so the equestrian center has a very nice luxury hotel with a nice restaurant it also has a candy shop there as well but if you get a chance definitely check out a horse competition show because it's absolutely so much fun and i'm um, driving through ocala you'll see a whole bunch of different horse farms beautiful horses um we're about 20 to 5 minutes away from downtown ocala where you have some great restaurants you also have one of my favorite candy shops grandpa joe's candy you go in there's an abundance of different candies and then they also have like a candy buffet where you take a box, you fill it up, you don't even have to close it for only $5. The kids absolutely love it. So we're only about 10 minutes away from Walmart, Publix, right? So we're definitely in an area where you can get to the store within about 10 minutes. So it's not far at all, okay? So this house is built on, it's built with concrete block and it's on a septic tank and public water, okay? So I want to also mention that we're about an hour and 15 minutes away from the Orlando International Airport, um, about the same distance to downtown Orlando, about an hour and a half from Walt Disney World, and then we are about an hour and a half from Tampa as well. So Tampa is gonna get you to like Clearwater and all of the beautiful beaches, and we're about 30 to 45 minutes away from Gainesville. All right, so let's go to Monarch School of Real Estate where I'll break down the down payment, closing costs, taxes, and so much more. All right, so welcome to Monarch School of Real Estate. If you guys been following me, you know that I absolutely love to do this because my passion is helping you guys become savvy consumers. All right, so this these numbers are solely estimates. I'm not a licensed mortgage lender or tax appraiser, okay? So this house is listed at $329,900. There's no HOA and there's no CDD. What is a CDD? A CDD is a community district development fee, which basically means is in some new construction communities, the builder doesn't develop the land. So they take out a bond and they, bring that bond, they put that bond onto the homeowners and that basically gets rolled into your ta your property taxes, okay? So your property taxes are essentially gonna be higher because you have to pay that CDD. It's usually a 30 year bond, all right? But keep in mind, even after the 30 years, if you're still living in there, most likely you're still gonna have to pay the operating and maintenance portion of that bond, okay? So 
There's a few different loan options when it comes to financing a home. We're gonna talk about FHA. So FHA is primarily for first time home buyers. The minimum down payment is three and a half percent of the purchase price. So if we just do our numbers solely on what the axing price is, we're gonna do three and a half percent of $329,900 which gives us $11,546.50. Now, not only do you have to think about a down payment, but you also have to think about closing costs. Closing costs and accumulation of fees, such as loan origination fees, title fees, um, prorated taxes, transfer fees, and et cetera. Usually around three to 4%, I'm always super conservative and I do 4%. So 4% of the purchase price is $13,196. So it gives us, uh, cash to close which means this is how much cash you need in order to close on the property and get your keys is twenty four thousand seven hundred and forty two dollars and fifty cents now the next loan is a conventional loan for first time home buyer you may qualify for a three percent conventional and that is three percent of the purchase price is nine thousand eight hundred and ninety seven dollars plus the same closing cost we have a cash to close of twenty three thousand and ninety three dollars now the next tier from 3% is 5%. 5% of the purchase price is $16,495. It has the same closing cost and we have a cash to close of $29,691. Now the next tier from 5% is 10%. Why would you pay 10%? 10% you would pay if you if this house is gonna be considered a second home. So let's say you live in New York, you work in New York, and you wanna buy a house now and eventually move down here, that's gonna be considered a second home even if you don't own a home in New York. Let's say you're gonna retire in a few years but you wanna buy the house now, it's gonna be considered a second home. So 10% of the purchase price is $32,990 plus the same closing cost, it gives us a cash to close of $46,100. $86. Now the next tier from 10% is 20%. Why would you pay 20%? The reason why you're going to pay 20% if you want to avoid private mortgage insurance and if you have that money, put down the 20%. Um, or if you're going to use this as an investment property, then the minimum is 20% as well. So 20% of the purchase price is $65,980. With the same closing cost, it gives us a cash to close of $79,176. Now, the next one is a VA loan. Thank you for everyone who has served our country. Um, you get 100% financing. All you have to think about is the closing cost, which is that $13,196. Another loan is a USDA loan. So USDA loans is 100% financing and it's for more rural areas. So this is still considered a rural area. So it's 100% financing. You don't have to worry about a down payment, but you do still have to worry about the closing cost, which is that $13,196. Now, if you're paying cash, you still have closing costs. They're just not nearly as much. I estimate it to be around two to $3,000. Now taxes, taxes are always a big question. So taxes on a new construction home, the first year is very, very, very low. It's only a couple of hundred dollars because it's only based on the land value. But the second year, the house gets reassessed with the land and your taxes are gonna go up. So I wanna make sure that you are aware of that, okay? So what a tax appraiser is essentially gonna do is they're gonna take 80% of the purchase price. And so if I do 80% of the purchase price, I get 263,920. Now, if this is gonna be your primary residence, you can deduct $50,000 from that because you get a discount for it being your primary residence and you file for what is called the Florida Homestead Tax Exemption. So if we deduct $50,000 from that, we, got, we get $213,920. Now with that, we're gonna times it by the millage rate. The millage rate, is different for all areas. So I'm only speaking specifically on Marion Oaks. This is not gonna work if you're in a different area or a different community. So the millage rate for Marion Oaks is 0 0.0168. So we times that by 213,920 and we get $3,593.80 per year. That's what your taxes would be. Again, that is solely an estimate because I'm not a tax appraiser. Also, if this is gonna be considered a second home or an investment property, your taxes are gonna be higher because you can't um, have that $50,000 discount. Now, homeowner's insurance is always a hot topic as well. Yes, there have been a lot of insurance companies that are no longer writing policies here in Florida, but we still have an abundance of other insurance companies that are 
writing policies in Florida. So on a new construction home in an area where it's not prone for a catastrophic hurricane, not say that it can't happen, but um, your estimated um, homeowner's insurance is gonna be about $1,200 or less Per year I just had one client close um, Saturday and her homeowners insurance is nine hundred and eighty six dollars for the year so that's something to always consider now if you want to work with me and here at the Evolve Estates group not only do we cover Ocala we cover all of Central Florida so from Ocala to Tampa and anywhere in between okay so always keep that in mind I hope this helped you if you felt like this helped you comment like share subscribe tell a friend and Check out all my videos. We cover all of Central Florida, so you have different videos in different areas. And stay tuned to my next video.